All right, the first weekend of March is officially here. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for fun things to do with your kids this weekend, there's lots of stuff to choose from. And joining us this morning to share with us those activities is Erica Bigelow from Seattle's Child Magazine. Good morning, Erica. Good morning. So let's start with a place where we can explore local ponds and learn ways to protect the creatures that live in them. That's right. So today, Join a Seattle Parks and Recreation environmental naturalist for a walk around Meadowbrook Ponds to explore the pond's unique environments. So you're going to learn all about things like frog eggs and salamanders and the many insects that are there that, so that you can understand the health of the urban pond and what we can do to protect it. So you want to be sure to wear shoes you don't mind getting muddy. Uh, kids under 14 need to be accompanied by an adult. And this is a great activity for kids five and older, uh, 10 to noon today. All right, also this weekend, we're hearing about a place where we can see a range of artwork from local black artists. That's right. So you want to bring your kids to the gallery at Tacoma Community College today, and you can explore the Black Art and Black Artists exhibit during their family day. So besides the amazing art, there will also be lots of kid-friendly art activities and an exhibit scavenger hunt. And the gallery is Building 4 on Tacoma Community College's campus, and visitor parking is available in Lot G. And this exhibit is presented by the Tacoma Community College, Tacoma Urban League, and the Pierce County Black Collective, happening to 10.30 uh, to 2.00. And then it's going to be rocking in the South Sound as Lacey holds a special celebration, apparently. So today is Lacey's cultural celebration, and you can savor sights and sounds from around the world. Uh, today, you can share the heritage and cultures of the Lacey community. This is happening at St. Martin's University. There's going to be music and dance performances, art demonstrations and displays, and delicious tastes and designs from diverse food and craft vendors. Plus, kids can take part in hands-on craft projects that they can take home. It's a free event happening all day, 10 to 6. And kids always love a good scavenger hunt as well. That's right. Well, this is the month with such a great holiday. <laughs> so you can try your Irish luck as you and your family, either two-legged or four-legged, visit a variety of Marysville parks looking for lucky horseshoes and shamrocks and rainbows and following clues to a pot of gold. So the scavenger hunt takes place all the way through March 27th. Once you're complete, participants will submit their photo at the pot of gold to be entered into a prize drawing. And this is an important note. It is a sequential scavenger hunt. So there are three park locations. You need to visit them all. This is a fun way to explore some new areas and get outside. Um, directions are on the event's description page. They're also listed in the required registration uh, process. And, you know, get out there and go find yourself a leprechaun. Uh, and then this last one has two things, wheels and reels. And it sounds like fun. Yes, you can enjoy a night out starting tonight under the stars at Juanita Beach Park at their drive-in movie series. So the parking lot opens at 6 and the movie starts at 7. And today, viewers will be watching Enchanted, which is a PG-rated 2006 musical fantasy comedy. So all ages are welcome. Uh, they do require uh, registration for your vehicle. And uh, let's see, also snack vendors will be on site. The event's happening rain or shine, and they just ask no RVs, limos, buses, tailgating, or alcohol. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, Erica. Well, thank you for joining us and letting us know about these fun kid-friendly events that we could do this weekend.